Hello there. I am your host today and am here to teach you price action trading strategy. We open gold 15 minute time frame chart to understand this strategy. Today I am going to share how to trade with proper support and resistance along with trend line. The support and resistance are specific price points on a chart expected to attract the maximum amount of either buying or selling. The support price is a price at which one can expect more buyers than sellers, likewise the resistance price is a price at which one can expect more sellers than buyers. Now we draw major support and resistance. Here we are drawing support zone. Now we open shorter time frame to see how price act on these levels. Now time to wait until price comes to these zones. We got rejection now we enter in a trade. We set stop lose to few pips below last low and our take profit would be 1 is to 2. We will set our stop lose to nearest round number. Now time to wait until price comes to these levels. Round numbers have a tendency to attract orders, so if your stop lose is very near to your buy or sell order at that time try to set stop lose at nearest round number. As you can see that we won this trade. Now time to wait for market next movements. As we got rejection at support zone, now we open a buy trade. Our stop lose would be same as we set previously because market is at same zone again. Our take profit would be 1 is to 1 this time because we are doing scalping on smaller time frame and we have already used this level previously. As you can see that we easily won this trade. Now time to wait for market next movements. As we got rejection at support zone, now we open a buy trade. We set stop lose to few pips below last low and our take profit would be 1 is to 1. Our take profit would be 1 is to 1 this time because we are doing scalping on smaller time frame and we have already used this level previously. As you can see that we won this trade. Now time to wait for market next movements. Let's draw new support zone.
Let's draw all new resistance level. Now time to wait for market next movements. We should not enter in a trade until your level reaches. After rejection we can enter in a sell trade. We set stop lose to few pips above last high and our take profit would be 1 is to 2. As you can see that we easily won this trade. Now time to wait for market next movements. We should not enter in a trade until your level reaches. As we got rejection at support zone, now we open a buy trade. We set stop lose to few pips below last low and our take profit would be 1 is to 1. As you can see that we won this trade. Don't be confused in last swing low and last candle low otherwise you will lose that kind of trades. As we got rejection at support zone, now we open a buy trade. Our stop lose would be same as we set previously because market is at same zone again. As you can see that we won this trade. I hope you enjoy this strategy. If you're new to Forex Lear, do like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.